All right, what's up? I'm X Factor. This is Minecraft, and today I'm in my lovely redstone world here. I'm uh, gonna take a look at a first proper showcase, I guess, of my new wrong button creation, and that is a working Star Trek transporter. Uh, now this has been done before, but I've never seen any uh, proper overview as to how it works. That is video based and or picture based. Other like I've seen brief text based walkthroughs, but or explanations, but I'm going to try to go a little bit more in depth without making this video too long. So first off, I guess we'll step into the room, and I didn't really go for style here, other than the uh, circle. And this design is sort of based on a Reddit post. If I can find the original link, uh, the poster also said it was fully functional, but again, no details. So. Uh, yeah, so that's the style with the ring here and the clear blocks. Obviously, the beacon needs to see the see the sky. I have to have a skylight level, so I put... Oh, I teleported myself there. Uh, yeah, so anyway, the beacon needs to see the sky, so I put pistons up here. And pistons are transparent, so that allows everything to see. Uh, this is our selector here, so obviously I had one selected and that teleported me through the machine. We can just select five. And as soon as the beacon switches, we can step on in and that'll teleport us to a new position. Um, how this works um, is when the beacon is activated, uh, we'll start over here first. When the beacon is activated, a corresponding um, torch here will be deactivated based on this piston selector. So this will deactivate this torch where the rest of these are active. And this will come along here to this command block. Um, when the user, pardon me, when the user steps on the teleportation pad, I guess it teleports them over to here. Uh, this pad is wired up close to these. Yo, oh, pardon me. Uh, when that, when these pressure pads are powered, this will power this line of redstone, deactivating all these torches. Uh, but this acts like an AND gate. So only this torch will become active, and then this will then teleport the user to the appropriate spot. Um, also, uh, when this torch is active, this will send a power down this line to both the piston, activating the beacon, and another AND gate, which powers this command block, which will activate that command block, rather, and when the user stands above those spawners, testificates with zero health. I can't show it because I made it too far away and there's no clear view. But anyway, testificates with zero health. Villagers with zero health will start spawning in all these all these pods here. And uh, yeah, so that's how that works. Just rapid spawning villagers. And of course, you can only have one of these active at a time. Um, it would have been... I potentially could have done this with one command block. However, I wanted to avoid, uh, with a whole bunch of players in here, the wrong player getting teleported as best as I could. Because if you had a player in the transporter and a player over here at the same time, uh, this player would be closer to the command blocks. So by using the at P, um, I could have done a player centered around here with about, what, a two block, three block radius like that and I'm flying so it didn't activate but you know this is how I chose to do it it's not perfect yet uh, there's some delay in the spawns and I think I think one or two of these doesn't work and I'm not sure why but yeah and obviously yeah there's some delay here usually it'll work but yeah it's not perfect it is working and I aim to obviously clean it up this is not my best wiring something I threw together. But hopefully that has given you some sort of insight as to how these things work. Um, oh yeah, I mentioned the certificate spawning. There's just a whole bunch of spawners down here with, I think these are four blocks below or five blocks below the teleportation pad, so they've got a six block radius to let the certificate spawn. But anyway, hopefully that has given you some kind of insight as to how this works, and you can potentially build something for yourself. This isn't a finished product, so I won't be posting a world download for it. But uh, other than that, if you made it with me to the end of the video, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.